Hey, how's everybody doing? I am Fred Snicker, like the candy bar, and I was just hired as a volunteer assistant coach to the U6 Nighthawks. And my head coach, Coach Jenny, has put me on a special assignment, she said. She wants me to be virtually training these kids because of all the social distance rules. And I can appreciate that. She said I didn't need to come to practices. So instead to do something on my own. So that's why I'm here. I'm going to teach you guys the lessons of soccer. Or as I think it's called in the sport down south, football. Okay. What's that? Credentials? What's that mean? Why didn't you just say so then? I was the backup punter on my JV high school team. And until I was ruled academically ineligible, whatever that means, I was also used on practices to help the defense tackle better. And Coach Tibbetts was always giving me opportunities in practice to get tackled. That was so nice of him, I came back every time until I was told not to. And he kept laughing, and I don't understand why, but that's a different subject. Also, what I have to offer this team, I went to high school with Waker Puckle Church, a foreign exchange student from England. So you know those English people are in soccer. Now, he might have been in the smart boy classes, but I still talk to him once or twice. So I got that going for me. Coach Jenny told me to get out here and make sure I wear my boots. I said, Coach Jenny, don't you worry about that because I got my boots on and I'm ready to play. Okay, so let's start some training. She didn't really give me an agenda to follow, so I'm just making this stuff of what I thought would be appropriate. Here we go. So the first thing, the game starts with the kickoff. It's made by the kicker. So on the whistle, you kick the ball off. If the ball goes out of bounds, you have to throw it back in. But you can't cross the line while you're throwing the ball, so it's a little tricky. Watch. Ready. Apparently, I stand here corrected. Apparently, you're supposed to throw the ball with the hands over the head. So that's going to be tricky because that's tougher. You can't throw it as far. The next thing I want to teach you today's lesson is the art of celebration after you score a goal. Oh, and I'll tell you another thing. You can take that beep, 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 cherry flavored popsicle, beep, 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 Nancy Pelosi, boop, boop, beep, 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 and shove it, beep, 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 straight up, beep, 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 and don't even get me started about the space shuttle, beep, beep, beep. Where's the town all? Beep, 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 beep. And that's all I gotta say about that. All right. I hope everybody's enjoyed today's training session on what they say is this beautiful Welch day. I've never understood that phrase, the Welch day, because to me, it's raining, and I thought the, the company, the Welch company, made those purple drinks. But what do I know? Anyway, this was training lesson number one by Fred Snicker, and I'll make some more for my Nighthawks. Caw -caw!